Here's my next sketch in my India series. This one is done on another 8x10 Artifacts aluminum panel with a lead white priming. And this sketch actually turned out great. I think it's one of my favorites in my recent India series. I started this one out a little bit differently than usual. As you know, I like to go in with no drawing and just start painting the values and the colors right away. But on this one, I attempted to do a little bit of a line drawing. I'm not a big fan of doing line drawings before I start, but they do have their upside. For me, what is really nice when you have a line drawing is that you already know where everything is gonna go. Without one, I kind of find the drawing as I go along and I correct the drawing as I paint and I sort of find it and discover it along the way. But if you prepare a line drawing beforehand, you already know where everything is. And in a way, this lets you paint with more confidence and put bolder brush strokes than otherwise. Inversely, when you do it my usual way, which is just to start going in and painting it without any lines, you're constantly searching for the correct placement of things. And sometimes you're getting it wrong and having to move stuff. So you kind of, uh, to a certain degree, you have less confidence about the marks that you're placing because you don't know if they're necessarily in the right place or not. And that causes you sometimes to have a brush stroke that feels less confident. Now the first stage is complete. So for me, that's always to place all the approximate colors and values down and create a sense of the lighting and the sense of the color temperature without having any of the details. So when that's complete, I start going in like you see me doing now and rendering things to completion. So I don't like to have pieces of white canvas showing and finish one part. I just want the first stage to be covering the entire canvas with something approximate. So you get yourself 25, 30% of the way there, and then you go in and finish areas one by one from the 30% up to the 100, like I'm doing now. The reason why it helps to get an approximation of all the colors and values in right away is because it helps you judge all the rendering that you're about to do. In many ways, the act of accurate painting means getting down the correct relationships between things. So that means relationships between proportions of the drawing, between the values, and between the color and the color temperatures. If you have nothing to judge these off of by starting out on a white canvas and just starting to, to paint one little area, you might start that out in the wrong key. The wrong value key perhaps will be too overexposed or maybe it'll be too underexposed or maybe the wrong color key where you're going to start out in a color temperature that's maybe too warm or maybe you're going to get the wrong proportions of the drawing you're going to start with an eye and then you're going to find out you drew it uh, too big and the head of the person will be too large on the canvas than what you wanted so for that reason, you need to get down something approximate to help you judge these relationships so you don't create any overly bad errors that you're going to have to fix along the way. It's always good to see the forest for the trees, to see your painting as one cohesive whole. And that's actually why when I paint these 8x10 panels, I find that I have a pretty easy time because I can actually see the entire painting in my field of view just at a glance. Whereas when you're working on a big piece, like um, I'm really into the size 40 by 30 inches lately. When you stand up close to it to paint something, you get locked into one area and you can't see the entire painting as a whole. So you have to step back a lot. But when you see the entire painting, like such as an eight by 10, it's quite a lot easier to manage the relationships between things. What really drew me to this photo is the really intense overall warm feel that it has. The lighting is extremely warm and uh, this coupled with the orange turban that he has makes for a very striking warm color temperature that I really enjoy. 
And if you guys want to know more about the subject, this was photographed in Varanasi, India. It was near the shore during a little bit of a uh, evening ritual where at 5 or 6 p.m. they say goodbye to the sun and they play uh, some songs outside at the shores of the Ganges River. And this gentleman was there. I don't know much about him, but what I can tell you is that uh, his job is uh, to stand outside naked and to actually roll his penis up on a stick like a Tootsie Roll, believe it or not, and to have people stand on the stick and uh, stretch out his penis. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what the purpose of this occupation is or, or why, why he's doing that, but I do believe you gotta do what makes you happy. And uh, if that makes this guy happy, then uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. You choose a path to mastery and you become the best at that. If that means rolling yourself up on a stick like that, then, um, then all the power to you. Luckily for me, my fascination is with painting. There's nothing that I love more than getting out a blank canvas and then in a matter of hours, you go from this rectangle of white to something that imitates life to a greater and greater degree as you get more and more experienced. The best thing about art for me is that it never gets easy. While you get better and better the more you do, you're still challenged by something. The things that challenged you before, they become intuitive and your brain executes them on a subconscious level. But now you're working out something that wasn't even in your mind before. Let's say before you were struggling with the drawing or the values, so your conscious mind was focused on that and you weren't even thinking about edges or design of brush marks or layering or, or something more esoteric like that. But now as the years pass, you're handling the values and the color mixing subconsciously. You're not even thinking about that and it frees your mind up to work on something more complex like you're trying to work out the edges, maybe you want to design a brush mark in a particularly sexy way. This wasn't even on your mind before. You were just happy to put something down and as long as it looks like the real thing, to some degree you're happy. But now you have this never-ending mountain of competence that you can climb for the rest of your life. Even if you were to accomplish perfect rendering, you still have to think about the content of your painting and making something meaningful. That's another lifetime of practice. But here's my final image and I'm very happy with this painting. I love the overall warm tones and the expression that I accomplished on his face. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get the next videos that are coming out. I actually have four more India paintings that I've already finished after this one.